what can I do to put off this thing? Because I don't want it to destroy me emotionally. Yeah, watch Your Lion April. That's a good goddamn idea. Anyway, uh, hey, hi-ho, and howdy, everyone. My name is Shannon Elshug, master of good ideas. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, it's Your Lion April episode 17. That's pretty neat. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so we're back with another episode of this. Um, it's weird not having a ton of stuff to say. Um, because I'm, I'm a really talkative boy, but I don't really have much to say. I didn't have much to say during Pokemon, and I didn't have much to say during the next episode of Kaguya that I, uh, uh, recorded. So, it's just, it's, it's weird. So, I don't know what to do. Because I'm not just gonna watch the episode. Who the fuck do you think I am? I must sit here for minimum seven minutes talking to you about shit that doesn't matter. Um, it's what I do. If you didn't like it, you wouldn't have been here in the first place, man. Um, anyway, I don't know what anything is anymore. Let's talk about stuff. Um, what the hell happened last episode? I don't 100% remember, but I vaguely remember it being sad because it's your lie in April. Was that the one where it was all like, hey, let's run down the sadness that happened? Yep, there's her bashing her goddamn head. And... Yep, yeah, and and then there's and then there's the little adorable blonde bean who's kind of an asshole, but we don't really know what's up. And, and I mean, we do kind of, cause brother. And then we left off with this. God, I hate it. God, I look Kauri so much. I just I don't want her sad, and I don't want her hurt. And both of those things are just a constant, and it sucks dick. Um. Anyway, uh, yes, yeah, so that was last episode. Um, it's interesting, man. I, I, again, I was, I, I was trying to find things to kind of put off other stuff because I have been kind of emotionally fucking ruined, um, recently through stuff. Because not only have I been going through this, I, I, I haven't gotten to sit down and record another episode of Grisaia yet, but where we left off, it was pretty fucking emotional. Um, thank God, while Fire Emblem got really heavy. That was like seven years ago at this point. Like, I'm still getting those episodes out. It, it, it's fucking ridiculous. Um, it's such a goddamn long game. It's a great one, but so goddamn long, and I recorded like 80 of them at once. Um, but uh, yeah, no. So uh, I got I got really emotionally fucked up this past week. Uh, reacting to stuff. Um, just trounced in a way I've never been hit before <laughs> it was it was it was such a weird thing because like I'm I'm very used to being sad in my reactions because I watch a lot of sad shit case in point um but yeah no it was it was a completely different fucking experience it was also crazy because I went from the highest level of confidence and completely unaffected to just the lowest I've ever felt sad was on the channel. It was the weirdest experience. I've had a minute to recover now. I've had a couple of days. I uh, just finished work for the week uh, yesterday. So, like, I'm, I'm finally a bit more together. Um, but I'm trying to put that off as much as I can. And I was like, well, Nichijou is probably a good option. But also, Nichijou has a tendency to turn my brain into fucking just pudding. Like... I, I just go stupid. I, I, I just stop realizing that I exist in the same realm as everyone else does. Like, it's it's so fucking goofy that you just, you forget which is up anymore. And it's, it's, it's really, it's really, it's a great show. It's really fun. Um, but fucking hell, it is terrible if you're not doing it last and even if you're doing it last then you've probably run through other shit so you're triple fried by that point it's ridiculous so anyway i decided to jump into this so i'm gonna be fucking sad some more also i just kind of wanted to get into this because um here coming up on the 17th is when it's actually coming out but i probably won't get a, get to it till around the 20th or so um but that is when uh, the DLC for Pokemon uh, Shield is going to be coming out. So I'm going to be sitting down and bringing that back to the channel. Um, and we're going to have a lot of fun with that. Um, but I would like to have one of these uh, series probably wrapped up by then. And I figure since I already kind of have a head start on Yorlai, 
your line might be the one, especially since I want to take uh, the other series very fucking slow uh, and just deal with it as I go because fucking hell. Um, and Nietzsche Joe is Nietzsche Joe, so you never know what's up with that. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, it is. It is very possible I'm going to try and wrap up your life. Probably I don't know if it'll be this week necessarily, but within probably the next two weeks I might try doing that. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Maybe not. Um, as of right now, uh, I think episode 14 is the only one of the last couple ones that I've done. I think that's the last one that's come out now. Yes, Footsteps was the last one that came out. Um, so I'm I'm a little ahead on this. So there is that. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'd like to have this. Uh, especially since, because again, uh, not only is Pokemon going to be coming back. Um, but here soon, um, uh, Steins Gate Zero, Psycheno Season 2, or Bloom. I just, I don't know which one yet, and I think that's the biggest problem, is trying to figure out which one of those I, I feel the safest and most comfortable doing at the moment, because I want to do all of them, because I know for a fact I like all those. Okay, I don't know for a fact I like Bloom, but I've been wanting to watch it since about the dawn of time, um... So, but like, I know I like Psychono and I know I like Steins Gate. Um, it's just, I know that both of them are probably going to hurt me in their own ways. Um, even if Psychono is primarily a comedy show, it can also kind of hurt you sometimes. <laughs> there, there was a couple episodes in the, in, in the first one where we're like, Hey, you having a good time? Cool. Here's a knife and here's your heart, you little bastard. Um, anyway, I don't know. So, we're going to go ahead and watch this. It is episode 17, like I said. I had to double check to definitely make sure that it was the right one. Uh, I could have just looked at the fucking thing where I had 16 episodes recorded, but Shannon's a dumbass. Yes, he is. Um, anyway, uh, anything else I really want to say? I guess I just want to say a thank you to everyone who's been you know, awesome as of late, obviously. Um, especially if you happen to be from that other series and we're just being super cool. Um, because I definitely needed some support at that point. Um, but also I just wanted to say that I love you guys and hope you guys are doing okay. Again, it's kind of a wild time right now. It's, it's been a wild time. It's probably going to be a wild time. Some more, <laughs> uh, see, you're kind of sucks dick, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, I, I just, I love you guys, and I hope you guys are doing okay, I hope you guys are staying safe, taking care of yourselves, and the people you love, and everything, and living your best, and, you know, again, it's it's a turbulent situation, but I, I hope some, some good comes out of it, and, you know, I just, I want everyone to know I love them, I just, I just do, it's just how I be, man, and I, yeah, so, anyway, I love you guys, I hope you guys are doing well, um, Let's kind of have some fun. And by fun, I guess I mean immense sadness because this is going to be fucking sad because of course it is. It's goddamn your lion, April. Leave Kauri alone. I love her so very much. And it's incredibly upset. And don't think that because I'm saying this, it's okay to go after Subaki. There's some different emotions, but they're still both sad. Don't do it. Don't do it. Now let's watch as they do it. Um. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started here with episode 17 in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm scared. Fuck. You can't do that, man. God, I fucking hate it so much. I just want her to be happy. I want my boy to be happy. I want him to be fucking happy. And it's so fucking upsetting watching her just deteriorate the whole time. I 
I'm getting really tired of seeing these beautiful, bright little sparks of awesome humanity getting fucked over so goddamn much. Hey, Amy, how we doing? Hi, not Amy. How you doing? Did we did we fully get past your sassness? I don't I don't I vaguely remember we didn't completely, but maybe we did. And if so, that's wonderful. And I love less sass friendship. We need that right now. I fucking do. <sighs> this man. Buddy. Like, I would want to spend every fucking waking moment with her if you got the fucking chance right now. Make the goddamn most of whatever time is there. I don't... But I get it, too. Hey man, I don't think you're awful for for caring and having the things that you love and care in this world. And if he happens to be one of those, then <sighs> you're not wrong for it. Damn. Goddamn liar. <laughs> I fucking love our camp so much. <laughs> uh. Oh my gosh, you got, you got like a little goddamn beret thing? What is this adorable? Hey man, how the hell are you...
just want to say again, I'm sorry for being so fucking quiet. Some weird motherfuckers, man. <laughs> the fuck are y'all even eating? The, this is what I have the time to talk about because it's the only thing that doesn't make me sad. <laughs> I really like that sweater. It's a cute sweater. That's adorable sweater too.
I mean, I feel you, but... Okay, maybe I should have waited before she finished her sentence first. Um... It's adorable. It's gotta be hell sitting behind this man. <laughs> Nailed it, little one. I have several questions. This is a real cute dress. It's a weird kind of thing all its own. Got again. And I just realized I definitely don't. I'm looking at that time. I don't know until next time. <laughs> Fuck. Please don't break my heart more. Oh, I should have known it was going to because I still have to watch this. Fuck. I'm I'm sorry. I was I was I, I, so fucking quiet in that one. I I, I know. I, again, I every time I apologize for that. You guys are so goddamn sweet and understand. And God, I just hate seeing it though. I hate watching awesome fucking people sit there and hurt. It's just, it's, it's so fucking depressing. And just, and just knowing there's no way this doesn't end with a profoundly beautiful fucking person not being there anymore. It just fucking hurts. Like again, I, I well, the reason I keep saying like the the other series because I obviously don't want to spoil anything for anyone. But anyway, in, in something else I I had watched recently, it's it's interesting comparing this to that because you know both are kind of the both talk about like the downfall of a person who is kind of just a profoundly beautiful person and you know you 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 fall in love with them and you're and you're really enjoying them but it's it's delivered in two completely different ways and yet they both hurt just as much as 
just as much as, as each other in their own ways. Um, one is something where it's like, it's, 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 it's so fast. It's so quick. You don't even feel like you have time to fall in love with the person. And this one is the entire show falling in love with Kaori and just watching her kind of fucking wither away is depressing as fuck. And Hey, maybe there's a, 0.000 fucking 7% chance or some shit that it, it doesn't go that way and she pulls through or you know something uh, please fucking god give me that um but uh, also I don't see that happening um but you know it's just it's interesting comparing those two those two things because they both have affected me incredibly fucking deeply it's 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 interesting it's one thing i really have noticed uh doing reaction stuff is god there's so many ways to make you fucking sad (laughs) so many so many different ways to make you fucking cry and uh so many different reasons to cry so many different things to cry about god it sucks (laughs) uh scared to even get into Grisaia again because I know that's going to fuck me up again it's a different situation but fucking hell it still makes me fucking weep I don't know man it's 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 the thing I'm I'm in a time as of late I'm doing okay though I, I just want to make sure everyone knows like if, if I'm if I'm never getting too far around anything I'll obviously let you guys know and take breaks or in the absolute worst case of things drop stuff Ooh, I apologize but um, yeah, man, it's it's just it's it's a fire. <laughs> it's just blah, man. It's just blah. Anyway, I love you all dearly. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm so sorry. I'm very quiet in this. Um, but yeah, no, I just I couldn't think of anything to say. The most I could really do is nod or shake my head. Is what the fuck else was I gonna do? Say yes or no. It's the same basic thing. And it, you know, it always sometimes feels wrong to talk sometimes. And this this weird thing is because, like, I'm, again, I'm a reactor. It's my, it's my, it's, 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 it, it, that's, it's, it's part of the, the part of the whole thing is talking and reacting and saying things and stuff. But sometimes it just feels wrong to even start trying talking. Whether it's because I know I'm not going to be able to get through it, whether it's because I want to focus everything that I have on it. Or whether it's just because it, I can't say anything that means more than just shaking my head or nodding or something like that, or just fucking crying or whatever the case may be. I don't know, man. It's 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 one of those weird things. Again, I I'm not too worried about it. You guys are always really super understanding and stuff, and I've I've been extremely lucky with having a really fucking cool audience who 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 gets how I do things and. It's a thing. Point is, I'm fucking sad. And I guess I am going to go sit down and watch the Nietzsche joke because I do need something to pull me up. Um, and I guess I will watch some Monica or something. I don't know, man. It's, it's I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> anyway, uh, I love you all dearly. Again, please take care and stay safe. Um, for all the different reasons these days, um, and know that I fucking love you, you guys are awesome, and I, I got nothing, nothing against you in any way, shape, or form, no matter what the fuck you look like or anything like that, you know, it's, it's weird that sometimes you have to fucking say that, but it's just how it is, I guess, but I guess that's kind of the point, anyway. I love you. Take care. Live your best. And keep smiling, even though it's fucking hard. (laughs) Till next time, guys. Tuzo Islamis. Bye-bye. Oh, God, I'm so tired of seeing Kauri fucking hurting like that. That dude, it's... uh, And and again, I I always call out Kauri specifically, because it's the one that affects me the most out of all of them. But obviously, you know, 
Kosei is going through hell at the moment. Tsubaki's going through her own little bit of hell. But yeah, it's just it's so fucking depressing. Why can't it just exclusive? When you're such a beautiful, goddamn, wonderful person, and I'm not just talking about appearance, clearly. I mean, she's beautiful in fucking spirit ten times more than she's beautiful in appearance. And she's also that, too. But, like, it it just, it fucking sucks. <laughs> it just doesn't, it's not, it's just wrong.